become a royal wedding, millions around the world tune in to see the happy couple tie the knot. While everyone is excited for the pair, there might be one thing that outshines the day, the bridal gown. For months people speculate about what the bride-to-be is going to wear. From Queen Elizabeth II to Princess Eugenie, here is a history of the royal bridal gown. Britain weddings have put together an infographic of the royal wedding gowns from Queen Elizabeth to the Duchess of Sussex Princess Elizabeth 20 November 1947. Just five years before she became Queen Elizabeth II, King George Vi's elder daughter married Lieutenant Philip Mountbatten at Westminster Abbey. The future Queen's dress was designed by couturier Norman Hartnell who described it as the most beautiful dress he ever made. Famously paid for with clothing coupons, the dress was covered in 10,000 pearls. Inspired by Botticelli's masterpiece La Primavera, the silk gown was embroidered in gold and silver thread. Paired with open tube satin sandals and the Queen Mary fringe tiara, which broke the day of the wedding and was quickly repaired, this dress would set the standard for every royal wedding to follow. Princess Anne 14 November 1973. In the early 70s, the only daughter of Queen Elizabeth II, Princess Anne, married Captain Mark Phillips at Westminster Abbey. Between her big day and her mother's, fashions had changed considerably. Maureen Baker of British Ready to Wear Fashion House Susan Small decided to take inspiration from Queen Elizabeth I for the princess's gown. A pin tucked bodice emphasized the princess's waist, while the gown also featured dramatic trumpet shaped sleeves. It was paired with a floating veil and simple square heeled court shoes. For her, something borrowed, Anne chose to wear the same tiara that her mother had worn for her wedding 26 years before. Lady Diana Spencer, 29 July 1981. Nearly 10 years later, it was time for Princess Anne's big brother Prince Charles to get married. The world watched as Lady Diana Spencer walked down St. Paul's Cathedral in a dress with a 25-foot train. Designed by David and Elizabeth Emmanuel, the ivory silk and Kerygma cross lace gown included an even longer veil. Diana chose hand-stitched shoes for her big day which took six months to create and wore her own family's tiara, rather than borrowing one from the Queen's collection. Sarah Ferguson 23 July 1986. When it came time for Prince Andrew, Duke of York to marry Sarah Ferguson, the world watched as Fergie put an 80s spin on her bridal fashion. Marrying at Westminster Abbey, the gown reflected Fergie's vibrant personality. The dress included pearl embellishments with hidden meanings. From anchors for her husband Prince Andrew to bumblebees and thistles from the Ferguson family crest, Sarah was able to add a personal touch to her gown. Created by British designer Linda Syrich, the dress became widely copied for the next decade. Sophie Rees Jones 19 June 1999. The last Windsor wedding of the 20th century took place at St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle between Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex and Sophie Helen Rye Jones. British designer Samantha Shaw was chosen to design Sophie's dress. The gown was made of silk and tulle and was covered in 325,000 pearls and glass beads. Being the most modern bridal outfit of the time, Sophie wore black and white pearl jewelry designed by her husband. Kate Middleton 29 April 2011. When Catherine Elizabeth Middleton married Prince William at Westminster Abbey, she created an iconic look in her gown by Sarah Burton for Alexander McQueen. The dress seemed to reference Hollywood's Grace Kelly, who became the Princess of Monaco with its hand-cut Chantilly lace and ivory silk tulle. 
Sarah Burton did not shy away from the details as flowers were embroidered on Middleton's veil and her dainty court shoes. Kate paired the gown with the Queen's scroll tiara and earrings, which were modeled on her family crest. Meghan Markle 19 May 2018. Seven years later, the world tuned in as Prince Harry married American former actress Meghan Markle. This royal bride chose a simple yet striking dress with Meghan wearing a gown by Claire Waite Keller for Givenchy. She also had the flowers of the Commonwealth and the California poppy embroidered onto her veil. The California native's royal accessories included the Queen Mary's diamond and tiara, a forgotten treasure that fit her contemporary style.